Hey, my name is Justin Case, and I have a lot of these Bobcat 300 miners. Uh, I bought them back in 2022. Well, actually, I bought them back in 2021, right when everything was getting really big, and I didn't realize that uh, all of a sudden the... Uh, the rack wireless minted miners would be available and it took 36 weeks for these to show up and by the time 36 weeks went by I didn't have a reason to have these didn't sell them thinking that something else was going to happen and I'd have a use for them and now I'm stuck with them uh, I have this one here which I was going to hit with a sledgehammer I have uh, one in my garage that I was going to send to somebody and then never got around to it and then I have those two back there which uh, remain unopened so, I started thinking today, well, maybe I should repurpose these. People have been talking to me about other projects out there that offer to reuse these miners. And I thought, hey, why not, right? Um, these miners, by the way, uh, according to the uh, SN, the uh, is a G290. So, the number for these is a, a G290. Uh, I'm going to remember that from the serial number because it's important later. So, uh, first of all, uh, I, I wanted to figure this out in terms of rewards. Is it worth it in terms of rewards to repurpose these miners? Some of these projects allow you to actually have their programs running in tandem with the ones for Helium. Uh, but uh, these miners, I'm never going to hook on the Helium network, so I'm not super concerned about that. Some of you may want to do that because you figure, hey, I'm going to get rewards from both, so why not? Uh, I'm not worried about that in this video. I'm going to just talk about it in terms of a breakdown of numbers. So, uh, well, what what is the value? So first thing is I just wanted to have a reference and I don't know how much you're currently making in terms of IOT with your helium miners. I'm looking at some numbers out there. I'm going to say 600 is the average I'm going to use and I'm going to base it off of what IOT is valued at right now, which is 0.001824. So 600 times... Uh, what IOT is worth multiplied by 30 and I'd say you're making about $32.93 a month if you are using the miners on the Helium network. Now again uh, I am only focused on the Bobcat 300. I don't know why uh, Bobber.com is still selling it for like $4.29. That's ridiculous. If anybody wants to buy mine at $4.29 Got a bunch of empty ones, or not empty, <laughs> unused ones uh, right there. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't think you want them, I'll be honest. So if you do, go ahead, comment me. Uh, but the first thing that somebody brought up was to check out the uh, Delphi network, or DFly. I'm sorry, I never know how to pronounce it. D-E-F-L-I. So I guess that's DFly. Uh, the DFly network, which was dfly.network, but it went down for the past week or two, and I didn't know what happened. Turned out they did not pay or renew their, uh, their address, so now they're dfly.xyz. It's never a bad sign when a company doesn't remember to uh, renew their domain name. Um, but that's just me. So here it is right now when it says, infrastructure for unmanned aviation. Through a dense network of reward-based physical infrastructure, we provide a full service solution for all stakeholders within the unmanned aviation marketplace. Uh, I, I'm looking at their picture. I, I don't know what they're thinking. Um, drones carrying people, who knows? Uh, but point being is what we're trying to do is uh, the DFly host. So if we look at the DFly host, uh, it explains here that they're trying to capture uh, ADSB packets from commercial aircraft, private aviators, unmanned aircraft, and more. Uh, they're solving the line of sight problem for aviation and ADSB. Um, again, uh, you can read all of this. I don't know what it all means, uh, but uh, I think it's relating to uh, trying to get things to land properly, especially unmanned aircrafts. What was interesting to me on this page was it says so far they have 361 
ground stations. And that's the only place I could find that information because when I looked at their, uh, their map of where their ground stations are located, and they don't have that many, so 361 seems about accurate, uh, I couldn't get any information on total numbers or any details in this map. So uh, I have to rely on that number of uh, 361. So I took that number and uh, I looked at uh, what it says we'd earn. And I'm just gonna go through this really quick. I'm not looking at an installation yet. I'm just reviewing the process. So it says here to, to uh, mine with DeFly. Kind of seems like you need to be techie. That's what it says right here. Uh, but I'm gonna also need an SDR. Uh, an antenna, a baseboard, which is uh, the uh, Bobcat Miner, uh, and an SD card. Now, one thing to note about this, as it says right here, uh, this can be any Raspberry Pi type board or x83 supported, and you can also convert most helium miners, just not the Bobcat G285. Well, I have the G290. I assume that means I'm good to go. So it explains a little bit here. It seems like you've got to update the firmware on an SD card, and then you've got to change the operating system on the Raspberry Pi to use Dragon OS. And uh, then there is a whole installation process, and then you need to buy a license. The license thing is broken, so I don't know if that means you can't buy a license or what the deal is, but it's from what I understand to be about $95. So that is something to consider. Do you want to spend $95 to make this happen? Uh, once you do, it says here you're going to earn basically based off of how many um, how many airplanes you see. At two random times every four hours, you monitor the data for 30 seconds and count how many aircraft you saw this time. Every 24 hours, you are monitored 12 times. The amount of aircraft is totaled and then divided by the total amount of aircraft seen by our entire network, and this determines your slice of the rewards. Okay, uh, I'm just going to assume in these numbers, uh, because it's it's hard to figure all that out, uh, that we're going to earn the maximum. So it says, uh, from now until May, you're going to earn a share of 152,000 base DFly tokens per day. Uh, the base DFly tokens are currently valued at 0.000736. So I'm going to take that one number, uh, basically I'm going to take uh, this 152,000 and divide it by 361, and that gives me the maximum tokens that I can earn. Uh, then I'm going to multiply that by that 0 0.000736, and uh, I need to multiply that all by 30 for 30 days. And that actually gives me nine dollars and 76 cents that's assuming these numbers are all correct but uh that's what you're going to earn a month nine dollars and 76 cents so if the license is 95 dollars, it's going to take you at least if if the price of the crypto doesn't change uh it's going to take you at least 10 months to get your money back here uh don't know if you want to do that but that's the numbers now, the other one that was interesting to me, another system that's being done, is Crank. C-R-A-N-K-K -K dot I-O. Um, so Crank, uh, <laughs> God, it just, it just sounds like a drug, man. I'm going to, yeah, let's do some Crank. Was it, wasn't that what it was called in um, uh, the movie uh, Robocop 2. Weren't they all doing crank in Detroit? I don't remember. Anyway, okay. Uh, a full IoT proof of network participation proudly built on Kadena. Earn crank token on the Kadena network by operating low rod gateway nodes contributing to the back backbone of the crank distributed network. So it sounds like they want to do uh, low rod just like Helium used to want to do. Um, I don't know. Sounds good. Is it worth it? 
Uh, let's see, their crank price, which I haven't been able to find anywhere else but through their dashboard, is at 13 cents. But I'm going to assume that you can just uh, trade that for Kadena and get your money out that way. I'm, I'm not really sure. If anybody has an idea where they can find CRKK uh, anywhere to be sold and transferred, please do let me know. And this is kind of important uh, because uh, you do have to stake it. So uh, in order for this to work, uh, their, their license costs 150 which you've got to pay for with Kadena. And then you have to stake $100 in Crank. Uh, so that being said, uh, again, um, didn't have any information on how much average people were making. One thing I did see on some other videos is most people said, put a bunch of these in your house and you're good to go because you're going to get uh, receiving rewards. Because like most places here, at least in Denver, nobody has this. And so uh, I'll, I'll get send rewards, which if I look at it, it happens about five times a day at 0.913. So that's... Um, 4.565 uh, and so let's see 4.565 <coughs> multiplied by 13 cents uh, multiplied by 30 uh, that's still uh, like uh, $17 and 80 cents so $17 and 80 cents a month uh, but you, you are looking at a $150 license and a hundred dollar stake uh, it still sounds better than uh, DeFi in a lot of ways to me, uh, but here's the thing. Like I said, if you had four of these, because I have four miners and they don't care that I put them in the house, uh, all four of them are going to possibly triple in rewards. Like I said, instead of just getting the uh, instead of just getting the sends. They'll also have uh, both uh, sending and receiving, and uh, that that adds up more. I mean, I, I see these are the the receive is only 0 .304, and I don't know how often they receive, but I've been told it can be triple. So if we triple the numbers, uh, we're looking at somewhere around fifty three dollars and forty cents a month. And if I took all four of these and that, that's going to cost me, I mean, all right, let's say we stake. So let's not worry about the staking. Um, but that's 150 per unit at least, so that's uh, $600. So $600, but each machine earns around $53. Let's just say $50 to make it easy. So that is $200. So yeah, in three months I get my money back. That's it's not bad. That's that's a good return on investment, assuming they don't care that they're all just in my house. Uh, that is, again, what the videos that I've seen online talk about. I don't know if it's true, if they care, don't care. Uh, you know, obviously, I'd rather have these at other people's houses. And I have a few friends and a few houses I could drop them at, but I just don't know if they'd ping each other at those distances. So if you're looking to do this, these are the kinds of numbers you do need to be thinking about. Uh, for the install process, though, it looks a lot better. They do have a lot of uh, OS images out there. I thought it was interesting that their OS image for the uh, Bobcat Miner 300 was the same for G285 as G290, just because of my concerns with DeFly. Uh, but, and they also have a Windows and uh, Mac OS installer for it. That seemed good. Uh, they also had guides. And when I looked at the guides, I saw, oh, but they have a different guide for the G280, G285 than they do for the G290 and G295. So that made me think, okay, I think I'm safe with the G290. Um, so I might try this. I haven't decided. Uh, still 150. Uh, if I really want to do this, it seems like I want to throw, throw down 600. My understanding uh, on their system is also, uh, you can do this on many other gateways. You know, obviously the Bobcat Miner is a full uh, full gateway, but you can also do this with light gateways and also you can run them in tandem with Helium. So if you still wanna make that Helium coin, you can still do that. So definitely some stuff to think about. I hope this helps you in figuring out your numbers about whether it's worth it in terms of ROI. Uh, I The people who told me to fly, I'm gonna tell you that doesn't fly with me forget it. 
Uh, I think crank is probably your best option, but that is again, assuming you have multiple miners to do it with. Uh, and honestly, if they're just sitting around going to waste, maybe it's worth doing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please do like and subscribe and have a great day.